Derpy Death Dungeon. Okay. You wake up in a dark room. You consider how overused that introduction is. After considering for a good hour or so, you get your bearings. Pitch dark in the left, pitch dark in the right. Even pitch dark in front of you. How about finding a wall? I like this game already. Uh, find a wall. You can't find a wall. You should probably eat your sandwich. No. Nope. What if I don't want to eat my sandwich? Uh, I'm going to go into the darkness. So which darkness do you want to go into? Uh, right darkness. A wall greets you with a rather rude slam. You find a doorknob. What do we do? <laughs> Notice Senpai? Deciding to return the favor, you look into the corner to find Senpai, the one and only. So you notice Senpai, but it's so interruption that Senpai notice you, Senpai has noticed you. The master of space-time has just acknowledged you. You could do just about anything right now with the power of Senpai. Well, any of the following three choices, so I guess you're limited. Improve your sandwich. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is the game. This is the game I needed right now. <laughs> when you can see again, your eyes do not believe what they see. A mix of cheddar, onions, and garlic generously piled onto sourdough bread. This is a beautiful sandwich. You're not sure what to do. Worship the sandwich. Do we worship the sandwich or do we eat the sandwich? <laughs> Eat the sandwich. Victory. The sandwich is blessed. You will probably inherit its blessing by consuming it. Eating its wonderful deliciousness, you gain heavenly powers. You now see, you can now see everything. You just beat the game. Bravo. Of course, eating a sandwich is not the only way you can win. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. That's so silly, but I love it. Oh, eat, what if I eat the sandwich right now? Oh, you fail. <laughs> you wither up and die to the lack of swagginess in your sandwich. Alright, never eat your sandwich. Go into the darkness. Go left this time. You trip over a walrus and fall into a giant pit. That's cool, I guess. Darn it. I can't believe I did it correctly the first time. <laughs> Let's go forward. You you head forward and you are certain you are going forward. This is because of your great logic and reasoning skills. Actually, most people just decide they are facing forward. So you do the same. Smart. Anyways, this huge room is now a mess of terrible lost creativity. You fall into a pit, but uh, there are cushions at the bottom. We would put cushions at the bottom of a dish that should kill you. I guess they don't know how this game works. You land softly on the cushions into a well-lit room. Well, I worded that weird. The room is lit. I uh, the, This room is on fire and you should probably get out of it unless you want to die. Do we want to hug the flames? That is the question. Do we want to hug the flames right now? Oh, darn it. Don't want to hug the flames. Go into the darkness, forward. Don't hug the flames this time. We go to the door. Grab the doorknob. Turn slowly clockwise. I mean the other direction. And pull it and... Uh, okay. You aren't holding the door. <laughs> oh my god. You could probably conquer nations with your skills. 
Conquer a nation. <laughs> Do professional door opening. Look behind the door. You look beyond the door into the future, into the rest of the dungeon. You see traps of flames, spikes, swinging axes, and a door that says employees only, huh? Uh, face the traps. Oh, darn it. Door. Eventually, open the door. Uh, look beyond the door. Open the employees only door. Pull. You open the employee only door and look inside. Huh, a path to the end of the traps. You calmly walk along and come out on the other side. Trap for Parkour 101 by you, O Master of Opening Doors. You walk into a room with a huge button that says win. I'm gonna look around. There's a ravine between you and the button. How do you get across? <laughs> Mad hops. Or Google. I'm so happy with this game right now. Well, there are three options. Jetpack. Swag. Or analysis. Swag. Oh... You try to look cool, you dab as you jump across, you fall to your death. At least you look cool trying. Oh no. Wall, no, no, no. Darkness, forward. Door. Eventually open the door. Look beyond door. Open employee only door. Look around. Mad hops. That didn't work. Go to the door. Grab the door. Face the traps. Don't face the traps. Uh, look around. Google. Swag, jetpack, or analysis. Uh, jetpack. You use a jetpack to get across. You thrust to. Your thrust to weight ratio is broken. You slowly fall deep into the ravine and land softly on the sharp, sharp spikes at the bottom. God dang. Analysis. You look around, considering the safest way across. The closest jump is a stretch of... Uh, of rock six, six inches from the other side. And there, there's also a tightrope and a door. Another door? Go to the door. Uh, there's a straight path to the wind button. You have one. Wait, no, no, not yet. Still need to press it. I feel like, I feel like this is here just to tempt me to press it. I know that eat your sandwich is an instant lose, but I want to just check and see again. God dang, I knew it would be. What is wrong with me? Honestly, I thought my sandwich would have changed. I really did. Look around. Google analysis. Go to the door. Open the door. Press the wind button. A shower of confetti falls from the sky. You have one O oh, master of doors. That's awesome. What else has this guy done? The, the tag is KGJ1. That's very strange.
Well, I enjoyed that game. Mr. Big Blink Thing. That was fun. In fact, I enjoyed it so much I wanted to play it twice. Not three times. But that was fun. Thank you for that experience. It was very refreshing.